Welcome, and today I'm going to be showing you about the Analog Way RC400T, the new console to control Analog Way Live Premier Aqualon devices. So, the RC400T, uh, you can, once you take it out of your lovely shipping box, you got to set it up, make sure you've got your power cable plugged in and your network cable plugged in, and I'm going to go ahead here and power it up. And uh, the first thing it's going to do is uh, power up, and we're going to make sure it's at the right firmware, and then uh, we're going to show you how to use it. So the first thing it does is goes through its self-test of its lights while it uh, boots the unit. And one important thing to make sure you're due before you proceed to use the RC400T is you're going to have to make sure that the Aqualon unit you're trying to control is also updated. So you're going to want to make sure that that Aqualon unit is at firmware 1.2 or better because um, that way the RC400T can actually control your Aqualon. So once we have it booted up, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and insert our USB key that's already got the firmware file on it. You can download that right from the website. And the RC400T is going to recognize what's on that USB key and say, hey, I've got this uh, new firmware. You want to start installing it? I'm going to say yes. It's going to go ahead and start extracting that firmware. And as soon as it's done, it's going to say, hey, here's your current firmware. Here's the new firmware you're about to install. Would you like to update? Tell me, in this case, I don't need it because I've actually already installed that. So normally, you would go ahead and hit yes, and I'm going to hit no. So now that I've got the firmware installed, I want to make sure that my RC400T has the right IP address. So I'm going to use enter the right IP address. In this case, I'm going to use DHCP, so that's fine. Uh, then I want to make sure I configure the RC400T's IP address of the device it's trying to control. In this case, it's the Aqualon, so I'm going to go here to Remote Device Test Settings and enter the IP address of my Aqualon device that I'm already controlling. So in this case, it's 10.0.36, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to 36 and make sure you hit Apply and hit Yes. And now, instantly, the RC400T connects to the Aqualon unit and synchronizes its buttons with what the RC400, what the console, sorry, what the Aqualon has already been set up with. Now, uh, because I've already done this setup in the web interface of the Aqualon, I already have some things set up already. So I've got my screens uh, set up the same way that they appear in the Aqualon's uh, web interface. Um, also, uh, when I first boot up the unit, normally it's going to come up with uh, some three pages of master memories. Now, on the RC400T, I have four rows of 12 buttons, each row is configurable by function and page. So the first page right now is showing me my list of screens and auxes, so I can see screens and auxes on the first row. The label information is pulled right from the web interface. Um, the, and then I have three rows of master memories, uh, one, two, three. And so far, that gives me 36 master memories I can recall with one touch access without having to go through any pages. If you wanted to get to other pages, though, you just press the knob and scroll through different pages, and the uh, button's label will automatically follow. So I'm going to go back here to you know, page one. Now, if I want to recall a preset on the screen, and you can see here, I've got my multi-viewer for my Aqualon all ready to go. So all I want to do is uh, just recall a master memory by pressing the master memory button. And I'm going to get that recalled on preview. In this case, it's already the same. So press a different preset. And you can see quickly and easily, I can just jump through different presets that I have saved. Now, if I want to take that to the screen, I could just press take and get a nice clean transition. And I should probably recall a different preset. So you can see that get the nice clean transition back and forth. Uh, I can also use the T-bar by pressing the T-bar button to turn on the T-bar. And if the T-bar is not down, it's going to ask you to bring it down. So I'm going to start with it in the down position. And then I'm going to uh, scroll through the T-bar effect. And you can see my nice transitions appear cleanly on the screen. Now, those uh, function buttons you saw earlier 
if I don't want all master memories, I can change it to something more useful for my current configuration. So in this case, let's say I might want to uh, make this row a selector for the different layers that I'm going to control. And maybe this row I'm going to use to manage the uh, inputs. And maybe this row I'm going to use to manage uh, some images. So now I get access to selecting which screen it is that I want to uh, manage and which layer on that screen I want to manage. And then I can quickly go and make selections about what's on that screen by just pressing the keys on the RC400T. So right now, I've got only screen one, two and uh, layer one activated. So now as I scroll through different things, I can quickly change those on the screen. But if I can select multiple screens, then now as I change those, all of the uh, affected buttons, sorry, all of the affected layers will change as quickly as I can press those buttons. So what's really neat about the RC400T is that all those button labels come with you from the RC400, sorry, from the web interface. So if I don't like the label or want to give myself something more convenient, if I want to change what's input four is called, I can just go into the web interface and, uh, for example, go to the input four setup page and just quickly go ahead and change the label and call it uh, for swirl. Well, I can spell today, swirl. So it shows up in the web interface and it also instantly shows up on the RC400T console. So that's a quick overview of what the RC400T can do and how to get started. Uh, for more information, stay tuned and uh, follow us on our website at www.analogway.com. Thank you for watching.